Hey guys, welcome back to Unique Tutorials. My name is Max and we're going to take apart an SD10 and uh, diagnose what's wrong with it. Alright, so here we have our SD10 test rig. Um, this controller itself has been giving us issues with 5.8 range. Um, 2.4 is fine, but 5.8 has been a little troublesome. We've gotten some spotty uh, reception, so we're going to go ahead and show you what it takes to take it apart. So first thing we do is flip it over. Um, you're gonna notice we have two 1.5 millimeter screws here and six 2.5 millimeters. So there's gonna be one here. There's actually one under here, under the handle, and another one here at the bottom corner, and that's on both sides. So you're gonna remove these rubber pieces. You're gonna go ahead, be proactive, pull out the battery door, pull out the battery, put that aside. <clears throat> And you're gonna grab a 2.5. We recommend the MIP 2.5s as you'll never strip anything ever with these unless the, the screws are already stripped. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go ahead and take it apart. All right, so now you have all the screws loosened. Um, you can go ahead and separate the two halves. And what you're gonna find is you're gonna find this power cord over here has a wire that is looped over itself so that you can't really pull on it. So what you have to do is just lift it off that little post like that, straighten it out a little bit. And you can go ahead and start separating the two halves. Now, you can't pull it completely apart because on the bottom half, you have soldered here the vibration unit and the speaker. So you can just go ahead and just put that aside. Um, and what we're going to be looking at is this little antenna right here. This is our patch antenna. So there are a few different ways of pulling it out. We're going to show you both of those. All right, so you're going to need a screwdriver, uh, Phillips head. And we're going to go ahead and start unscrewing the patch antenna that we have on here. It's actually a double patch antenna. So we're going to go ahead and move this, take this out. And in order to get to the rest of this, you're going to have to unscrew this board over here. This is going to be your main Wi-Fi board that we're unscrewing right now. This is your main processing board and your main reception for radio frequencies being 2.4, 5.8 and GPS. All right, pop this off. Now that we have this here, you see we have a little IPAX plug right here. Just go ahead, pop it off, and then you can simply grab the patch antenna, and you might get caught on something, but it's no big deal. Pull it out, and this is going to be your SC10 patch antenna, 5.8 gigahertz. All right, so what we're going to show you is how to get just a little bit more attenuation out of your uh, SC10 antenna. So here's the back side, here's the front side. Um, it's pretty simple. All we're doing is adding more solder. We're just adding some tinning. Tin that thing up. Add just a little bit, spread it thin, and pretty uniform all the way across. Go ahead, add some more, and now we're gonna go ahead and go the other direction. Make sure that it's pretty uniform all the way across, and reflow the original coaxial cable to the board. So we found that this actually adds some sensitivity 
we don't know why yet, but um, do some, you know, troubleshooting, we figured out that that helps. We also like to go ahead and heat up and send some solder down these traces, and then reflow this, and now this should help just a bit um, on your SC10 antenna, so we're going to reinstall this. Alright, so here we have the board still apart, and you want to be careful not to damage any of these ribbons right here. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to position this antenna with its IPAX connector, and we're going to attempt to fish it in as far as we can under these boards. So, under these boards, should we get it? I have it right here. Push it up, and here we have it, very close to where it originated. So we can go ahead and move this over. Now it's in position. Now we can slide this under, flip this over, and here we have our Wi-Fi IPAX connector on this board. So we're gonna go ahead. Move that in there, pop it in. Go ahead and grab the foam spacer, if, you're, if your radio has one, and reposition it over it. We put these here so that you can basically guarantee that your radio is still gonna have a good connection. Um, you know, keep the wire from rattling out. You also wanna double take the time to double check that when you pull it up, you're most likely going to pull this GPS one out. It's probably going to be stuck to this pad right here. But you're going to take the time to go ahead, reposition it, and then slowly and carefully make sure that you put, you line all the holes up, and then you uh, apply some a little bit of pressure, and then you're going to hold it down, because it will spring back up on you with those pads under it. Go back and apply, put some screws. Put the three screws that were in it originally. Go ahead and put these right here. And now, um, here's a shortcut that if you're pressed for time and you need to get someone out, there's um, there's one way to get this antenna out just a little bit quicker. It's not really too recommended, but it does help. So here we have the antenna, probably three quarters screwed in. Um, the fastest way to get it out is to unscrew it three quarters, pop one side out, hold it against the other, bend that out, and then you can Pop the um, pop the antenna out itself, and then you can solder here if you need to, and then just pop it right back in. Grab this screw that that we pulled back earlier, push it back, and you should be able to pop it back in. That's a little shortcut as far as doing that, um, but you want to be careful not to get any solder um, drip or splattered on any of these components, or you will break your SD10. Um, so we're going to get started on putting everything back together. The first thing we got to do is grab this JST lead and fish it through this hole on the bottom. And then we're going to go ahead and line up the two plastic halves. And what, one of the things you want to do is make sure that these knobs here on the side, you want to make sure that they're pointed up towards the plastic part. That way, when you come to align both the halves up, these are still accessible. So you want to make sure you do that on both sides. That way you're not going to have any issues when you put it back together. This applies to both SD10s and SD10 Pluses, um, as all these instructions basically do. Um, so we're going to start putting these back together.
Oh yeah. So here's another note. Um, when you're putting these in, they have mm -hmm. these these um, like rubber nipples that you want to put in these holes. So the best way to do it, if you can't get it by just um, applying pressure and putting enough pressure, if you know where it is, you can grab a screwdriver, uh, a flatter one, or uh, the back end of one, and just apply pressure in a couple spots. And usually they do pop in. You just gotta keep doing it. And uh, be careful to, uh, be sure to um, keep as little pressure on the uh, gimbals on the back side as possible. As if you damage them in this, in this point, um, you're gonna have to go back and open it up and replace these as well. So, we're gonna go ahead and get this JST wire. What I like to do is grab one of the screwdrivers, preferably a small one. Um, come from the top, bring it around, bring it under, aim the screwdriver down towards the post, and then slide the wire over, and then hold it down as I go ahead and pull on the JST to tighten it. So that tightens up nice like that. Now that does two things, that not only holds our battery in if, it, if the battery door comes off, but it also holds the two halves together if the screws come out. You shouldn't rely on it ever, but it's a, it's like a safety belt. So here we are and we have the SD10 back together. Uh, we can go ahead and turn it on and now we should be getting a little bit more um, um, sensitivity out of that 5.8 gigahertz patch antenna. Alright, so looks like everything is back to normal. And the best way to check is to come down here, flight settings, go to your hardware monitor. Alright, awesome. Alright, and we're done. Alright, so I'm Max with Unique, and that's how you go ahead and replace the patch antenna on your SD10.